tonight we're going to be breaking apart a uh, four inch spray gun and cleaning it. Uh, basically the other night I left the shop with paint inside the spray gun. I come back the next day and it was all clotted up in the bottom of it. So we're going to have to break it all the way down and clean it just like it was new. So the spray gun we're going to be working on tonight is a central pneumatic four inch adjustable detail spray gun. Uh, they're not that expensive. They're maybe 15, 20 bucks. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'll leave a link below. And uh, like I say, they're not hard to break apart and clean. And it doesn't take much time at all. So we hope you enjoy this video. If you have not yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So uh, the paint inside is water-based, but it still kind of makes a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves on and then we'll break it apart and we'll go step by step. These little guns, they work really good. I'm really uh, impressed with the, uh, the price of the gun. I was really impressed. So, so this, this is the part that... Uh, basically confused me when I first uh, started using these guns was I could get this piece off but the little uh, wrench they send with you it doesn't work to get the tip off so basically what I had to do is get a pair of needle nose and go in from the side and then you can break the loose and tighten it back up with the needle nose <music> here I'm going to take the back off there's a little spring behind this so you want to make sure that you don't lose the spring or it doesn't pop out on you because the first time you take it apart there is quite a bit of pressure on it it's a little bitty spring so it's very important you don't lose that and then from here you're gonna push down the needles big enough that you're not going to bend the end of it or anything to, to mess it up just enough to get the little um, the end of it back here and then you just grab your needle nose and then just pull it out. I can up all kinds of crud around it and it will not work at all right now. So. Now when I clean the gun after each uh, time I use it, I usually don't take this uh, this piece off, but being that there's a lot of it built, built up inside of it, uh, I don't know if you can, it zooms in there very good or not, but you can see that there's a lot of uh, build up of the paint inside. So I think it would be best just to go ahead and take it all the way apart and uh, and clean it out really good. There's a little nipple at the back here that the, your needle goes into uh, before it gets into the, the outside here. Same deal, we're going to go ahead and don't usually take this apart off the initial cleanup. So it's, 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 inside of it so this is just plain water I'm just going to clean my uh, brush with it
cleaning the brush up. So what I use is a airbrush cleaner liquid. Um, a lot of people say that you uh, they use a um, basically Windex mixed with water. Um, I just prefer this because if you use straight water, it will rust your your pieces out. So what I do is just kind of put it in a spray gun and then I can spray it inside there to uh, wash it out.
guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope this helps someone out there. Um, if you have any questions, please leave us a message below. Um, if you have not yet, please hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. I just do it.